how long were you in Israel? When were you supposed to get out when all of this unfolded? And we uh, were scheduled to fly out uh, last night, uh, very, very late night. Uh, we're awoken yesterday morning by the sounds of the uh, air sirens going off. Uh, and shortly after the air sirens went off, we started hearing explosions in Jerusalem. And on the way to Tel Aviv, we found out that uh, not only that our, uh, that our flight had been canceled, uh, and then uh, last night was pretty scary for us there. What has been the scariest part of this whole past 48 hours? Um, well, without a doubt, you know, you never know where something's going to fall. Uh, when you're feeling the buildings around you shake and when you're feeling everything and you don't know what's coming and you're just hearing the air sirens and you don't know what's going to happen, that part of it gets pretty scary. And we could feel the building shake as things were landing and as the air horns were going off. That, that part of it was very... Uh, uh, almost surreal. I was like being in a movie. <laughs> uh, airport has been really uh, kind of overwhelmed, overrun, thousands and thousands of people delayed there. Uh, the airline that we're associated with uh, tried to get us rebooked. Looks like they're trying to get us back out on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.